Now we can see that in the phase diagram of water. 1.013, this is in bars, so this is one atmosphere. This is equivalent to one atmosphere of pressure. We have the solid phase of water, we have the liquid phase of water, and the gas phase of water. So here at zero Celsius, then we have ice melting, and then if we keep adding heat up to 100 degrees Celsius, eventually it turns to the vapor state. This is what we're experiencing all the time when we boil water on the stove, solid, liquid, gas. But if we reduce the pressure, let's go down here, then we still have solid, we have a little bit of liquid phase, not as much, and then we have a, a vapor phase. But notice that the boiling point here is much lower, whereas at atmospheric pressure, it's 100 Celsius, but down here, if we lower the pressure, then the boiling point is actually lower. And the reason it's lower is what I've been telling you. When you reduce the outside force on the water, it's easier for all the molecules to escape, so it doesn't take as much heat or as high of a temperature to get it to boil. So that's what we did. We lowered the pressure, and that in turn lowered the boiling point, so immediately started boiling. And then the temperature of the water that was left behind got colder because the hottest water molecules escaped. And to the point where when I take it out of the chamber, I can stick my finger in it and it cooled off much, much faster than it would have maybe even in a freezer. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.